to another episode of Psy Connect. I am Teacher Giselle, your science teacher for today. Are you now ready to learn? Let's start! This grade 10 video lesson is about menstrual cycle. Science 10, quarter 3, week 2. The most essential learning competency for this lesson is describe the feedback mechanisms involved in regulating processes in the female reproductive system. The objectives for this lesson are as follows. Number one, define menstruation. Number two, identify the important events during the menstrual cycle. And number three, Describe the feedback mechanisms in the female reproductive system. The key questions for this lesson are as follows. Number 1. What are the important events during the menstrual cycle? Number 2. Why are feedback mechanisms involved in regulating processes in the female reproductive system important? Before we start our lesson, Let's have the pre-assessment. You can use your notebook or any clean sheet of paper to write your answers. Directions Identify what is asked or described in each item. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1 The pituitary gland releases hormones that causes the egg in the ovary to mature. What hormone initiates the maturation of the follicles? A. Follicle-stimulating hormone B. Luteinizing hormone C. Progesterone hormone or D. Testosterone hormone Number 2. At what days in the menstrual cycle does ovulation phase occur? A. 1 to 5 days B. 6 to 10 days C. 11 to 18 days D. 19 to 28 days Number 3. What phase of the menstrual cycle does the uterus prepare for a possible fertilization? A. Luteal phase B. Follicular phase C. Ovulation phase D. Menstruation phase Number 4 How many days does the menstrual cycle last? A. 10 days B. 18 days C. 20 days D. 28 days Number 5 what endocrine gland controls and starts the menstrual cycle? A. Adrenal gland B. Parathyroid gland C. Pituitary gland D. Thyroid gland Now let's have this activity before we start our lesson. Direction Identify some of the symptoms of menstruation by arranging the jumbled words below. You got it right! Correct! Fantastic! Getting better! Congratulations! Now you're ready for the lesson. The Menstrual Cycle Before we start, let's define what is menstruation. Menstruation is the technical term for getting your period. 
About once a month, females who have gone through puberty will experience menstrual bleeding. Bleeding usually lasts for 3 to 8 days. For most women, menstruation happens in a fairly regular, predictable pattern. The length of time from the first day of one period to the first day of the next period normally ranges from 21 to 35 days. The Phases of the Menstrual Cycle Phase 1 This is the menstruation phase. The first day of menstruation is the first day of the menstrual cycle. The uterine lining breaks down and blood comes out of the vagina. This is called the menstrual flow. The flow lasts from 3 to 5 days. It marks the beginning of the next menstrual cycle. Phase 2 This is the follicular phase. The lining of the uterus becomes thin after menstruation. This is a repair period for the uterine lining and development period for an egg to mature. Phase 3 The mature egg is released. This period is called the ovulation phase. The egg cell travels along the oviduct or fallopian tube and waits for the sperm cell. Phase 4 This is called the luteal phase. During this period, the uterus prepares for a possible fertilization and implantation by making the uterine lining grow and thicken. Now let us summarize the important events during the menstrual cycle. Number 1. The pituitary gland controls and starts the cycle. Number 2. The pituitary gland releases hormones that cause the egg in the ovary to mature. The luteinizing hormone, LH, initiates the maturation of the follicles, converts ruptured follicles into corpus luteum, and causes the secretion of progesterone. The follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, assists in the maturation of the follicles and causes the secretion of estrogen from the follicles. Number 3. Meanwhile, the ovary itself releases a hormone called estrogen, which causes the uterine lining to increase in thickness. The uterine lining becomes thicker so that the fertilized egg can attach to it. Number 4. The ovary releases an egg on day 14. Assume that no sperm is present. Number 5. The egg moves through the oviduct and enters the uterus. Number 6. Meanwhile, the uterine lining continues to thicken. Number 7. The egg has not been fertilized. Therefore, it will not attach to the uterus. Number 8. The thick uterine lining is no longer necessary. So the cells of the thickened uterine lining breaks off and leaves the vagina. The unfertilized egg is lost and some blood is lost too. This loss of cells from the uterine lining, blood, and egg is called menstruation. And number 9, after menstruation, the cycle starts again. Now you already know what is meant by menstrual cycle. But why do these things happen? Have you ever heard about the feedback mechanism? What is a feedback mechanism? A feedback mechanism is the process through which the level of one substance influences the level of another substance. A negative feedback affects the production of hormones in the menstrual cycle. High levels of one hormone may inhibit the production of another hormone. The feedback mechanisms in menstrual cycle. Number one, follicle stimulating hormone or the FSH stimulates the ovaries to release estrogen. High levels of estrogen then prevents the further production of FSH. Number two, estrogen also stimulates the release of luteinizing hormone or the LH from the pituitary gland, which in turn controls the production of progesterone. High levels of progesterone 
then inhibit further release of LH. To understand more the feedback mechanism in menstrual cycle, let's study this diagram. Before we move on to the next activity, let us all remember this. The menstrual cycle is the monthly series of changes a woman's body goes through in preparation for the possibility of pregnancy. Each month, one of the ovaries releases an egg, a process called ovulation. At the same time, hormonal changes prepares the uterus for pregnancy. This is a menstrual period. Now let's have the activity. You can get your notebook or any clean sheet of paper and write your answers on it. You will be given 5 minutes to answer the activity. You can pause the video while answering the activity. Direction List down important events that occur in each phase of the menstrual cycle. You will also answer the guide questions. Number 1. What is the correct sequence of the menstrual cycle? And number 2. What will happen when menstrual cycle is completed? We are now down in our reflection part. You can get your notebook or any clean sheet of paper to write the things that you would like to know more and ask your teacher about it. Or you can also write the things that you have learned in this lesson. You can start by writing down, I have learned that, or I wish to ask my teacher about. Now let's have the assessment. Directions. Identify what is asked or described in each item. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What phase of the menstrual cycle does the uterus prepare for a possible fertilization? A. Luteal phase B. Follicular phase C. Ovulation phase D. Menstruation phase Number 2. At what days in the menstrual cycle does ovulation phase occur? A. 1 to 5 days B. 6 to 10 days C. 11 to 18 days D. 19 to 28 days. Number 3. The pituitary gland releases hormone that causes the egg in the ovary to mature. What hormone initiates the maturation of the follicles? A. Follicle stimulating hormone. B. Luteinizing hormone. C. Progesterone hormone. D. Testosterone hormone. Number 4. How many days does the menstrual cycle last? A. 10 days B. 18 days C. 20 days D. 28 days Number 5 What endocrine gland controls and starts the menstrual cycle? A. Adrenal gland B. Parathyroid gland C. Pituitary gland D. Thyroid gland. Well done on your new learnings! I hope you have appreciated more the topic about menstrual cycle. Congratulations learners for finishing the video lesson! I hope you enjoyed learning with me today. Remember, learning is fun with SciConnect.